Hey everyone, Zerjit here with the XBLA Fans channel. I'm here to give a quick taste of Get a Grip Chip and the Body Bugs. I actually played the first one of these and it was very enjoyable. You're actually this little robot who's kind of grappling around, but uh, this time you're inside of a body and you were prescribed by a doctor to try to fix this guy. And this guy, oh boy, does he have a lot of issues going on. Uh, oops. Uh, but I've beaten the first level here. As you can see, instead of batteries, I'm collecting cells, and those, of course, are used to unlock other levels. This was a uh, special level over here I just completed, and this is the uh, second or third level, depending on how you go. Uh, this game seems to have been kind of simplified since the first one. It's also a learning game. So after at least the first level, uh, after you collected the cells, you go to this little quiz area, you answer the questions, and then you get to move on. You also look at the upper right, uh, you can see that I have health instead of one hit kills. Also, uh, where the cells are, uh, in the first game the batteries helped you, like, the cells uh, are how you progress and they were hidden around the levels and there was no real indication of the, like, hidden spots except for, like, their floating box or you had to kind of explore a little bit. Here, as you can see, there's this giant bright light of where I have to go. There. So it looks like at the end of this, there will be a, another sort of quiz thing that I have to go through. Uh, also, that health is regened when you get to a checkpoint, and there are quite a few checkpoints. Here's one already. Uh, if you do get to the quiz thing at the end and you don't have all the cells, it's not like you're going to fail it. It's just like, hey, answer the questions that you have. Uh, each time you get one wrong, you die. The thing is, though, if you die... Oh well, you just restart back at the uh, same area. Uh, the it still controls very well. Oops, uh, just a bit of the difficulty is just kind of now gone. Oops, I say as I totally whiff a uh, blood cell. Yeah, these are blood cells, which I don't think I should be messing with. But yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed with how the, uh, it now kind of just, it screams where the, the, the collectibles and stuff are. There we go. But yeah, I kind of look through the levels, and it looks like there's a lot of them. I also don't know now if the checkpoints are multi-use. Also, like, look above me. I wonder if that's a secret area. It is. That's what I meant. Like, they, it literally just screams, hey, there's a secret here. Also, uh, in the first one, the platforming wasn't terribly difficult, and it slowly ramped up. Uh... So far, I haven't really noticed a difference in that sort of slope, which is nice. Uh, there are way too many platforming games that go from one to uh, a billion way too fast. Oops, I need to get to the middle there. But yeah, if you like the first one, you don't mind a little bit of, a little bit of trivia at the end of it. This one's about the same. Come here, you. I don't know what these burning things are. Oh, it's mucus. Ugh. Timely, because where I am uh, is getting very much into allergy season. We actually had a big thunderstorm last night, which was really nice to not have to kind of worry about that for a bit. I don't get allergies. I do wear contacts, but so the pollen gets into my eyes or under the contacts. Does that count as allergies, though? I'm not sure. What would you... I, I, I don't actually know. All right. Uh, mucus, there you go. Produces this, breaks down the mima. Chew on this, blah, blah, blah. This is a slippery for the first time in your body. Yep, mucus, there we go. We're gonna skip that one. I don't. Ingestion. Saliva, blah, blah, blah. What? Oh, I read that wrong. There you go. Wait, really? Uh oh. 
I wonder how far this goes. It's gonna is it gonna get like down to like digestion and all that kind of crazy stuff? There you go. I've been tricked into learning. I don't like that. The only ones who are allowed to teach me are the magic school bus. Right on the magic school bus. Uh, this is actually, I believe there was an entire episode about magic school bus going inside of someone after they've eaten and stuff like that. You can do your submit stuff for a leaderboard. I'm assuming this game came out after the first one because it has a subtitle attached to it. Because the first one was just get a grip chip. Exclusive allergies. Belching butterfly back. All right, let's see how far down we can go, and then we'll see what's up. All right. We're in the intestines. Okay, mm -hmm. that's disgusting. Yep, that is the butt. It's probably where we're going to come out. That makes sense, though. There we go. This game doesn't, this one doesn't seem terribly long. The first one wasn't, didn't seem terribly long either, either, either year. Ugh. Also, I'm also noticing some uh, slight asset reuse with just different uh, textures. If you watch the first uh, video on this, the there were these uh, lava buckets that were essentially the same things as those. But yeah, I think my, if I had to name a disappointment, it's just that they like literally just scream, here are the collectibles sort of to you. So I just hit the ground, that, and I took my hand off to scratch my nose because like, well, I'm dead. No, I have a life bar. Oh, that poor cell. The throat. That's a weird picture of the throat. Everything's so squishy. Also, this game has a lot less achievements than the first one. I'm assuming I'm gonna go with the, it being the other one being a first one. Also, some of the layouts of some of this stuff seem very familiar. I mean, that's usually how games go, right? Like you get the first one, and then you get like the next one where it's like this is this. Yeah, this. Now that I'm playing it more of it, it, it feels like I feel that some of the sections of the levels are just copy pasted and just have the textures kind of just changed. Oop, I want that. Still enjoyable, if you like the first. Still controls well, all that kind of stuff. Aha! Esophagus. Epiglottis, sorry, not esophagus. I don't know why my brain did that. Yeah. We're learning. I check my sources. I am again I'm pretty sure that this would be the second one because it does have a subtitle. Because that's usually how that works, right? See now I'm down myself. Alright, so that's different. So this area is a little bit different. Gotta make sure to release these in proper order though. That's gonna be fun. We wait. No, I need to go this way. Oh, ho, ho. belching. All right, what do we got? Oh, 
Throat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, vomiting. Bruh. Throw to the back of your foot throat. It's a little flappy thing, right? The throw flap. Mouth the esophagus. The passageway, it's the throat. There we go. Excess air. We still don't know what hiccup it causes hiccuping though. Maybe this game knows. We'll learn the almighty question of what causes hiccuping and how do we stop it. I think you get the idea. I am Zero Jetty. This is the XBLA Fans channel. Have a nice day.